Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Wonders. Welcome back to my channel. This is Polo and today is going to be the day in which we're going to unbox and uh, have a super detailed review of this amazing uh, uh, Disney designer folk tale series Cruella de Vil um, release. Um, I really have been looking out for it for a very long time and she's finally here and um i have to say i absolutely love her um and then i have decided that i'm going to unbox it uh i mean i will take her completely off the setting uh so we can have a close detail all around her as I haven't found a lot of references online so I think this might be helpful for all of you who might be um, um, looking uh, for that and also who might want to collect this doll which is like breathtaking anyway um, this was like one of the last series that instead of uh, being called uh, fairy tale is called uh, folk tale um, and then it portrays um, scenes from the classics um, that we all love um, I think they included um, Cruella uh, there was a scene with uh, Rapunzel and Flame Rider uh, when she's um, rap wrapping him with her hair uh, there's King Triton and Ariel, uh, there was Moana, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I really hope that they keep on going, uh, more series, uh, in which we will be able to have dolls from all the classics we love, uh, so for this one, it's, uh, coming from 100 101 Dalmatians and um, it's dedicated to Cruella even though she will come with um, Pongo and uh, Perdita and the little puppies as well the boxes of this folk tale series are actually wider than uh, what we're used to for the designer fairy tale, the independent designer ones, designer villains, designer princes. Uh, so it's quite big, but because it comes with a wider background as well, which in this case, it's like the, um, um, the living room um, that it's it's been really cleverly done uh in the shape of uh, cutouts um so that's very cool i like that it's wider and everything the only thing is that as you can see here the base changed um in the way that the previous designer uh, base um from the displays um had like a pattern that was textured that was 3d and for this one it was just like printed uh, a printed pattern which is a bit more simple i mean maybe to the eye it looks quite intricate but when you touch it it's just like a printed detail and i actually liked uh when it was when it was having that sort of like brocade effect um for the previous ones but anyway um the artwork that we can see um is exactly the same in all three i mean sites of this leaf here that I'm going to take off in just a minute um, and then I want to show you um, the back of this leaf um, and then here we can read Cruella de Vil, Pongo, Perdita and Puppies. Um, the Disney Designer Collection brings to life your favorite characters, celebrating iconic moments throughout Disney's film history, reflecting scenes of magic and adventure. Disney store artists have captured these characters in unforgettable detail. Sorry, my phone is sleeping. Um, stories of heroism, friendship, and wonder span generations, creating a magical journey that continues to reach fans of all ages. Rich, evocative, and dramatic, the Disney Designer Collection will be a treasured keepsake for collectors and Disney fans alike. 
that is what we can read about the whole collection and then right over here we have some more details uh, like for example signature black and white hair for Cruella elegant red gloves um, super cute uh, dramatic faux fur coat and matching purse um, what else faux leather uh, sheath dress detailed figurines of Pongo, Perdita and Puppies so this is everything that's included and now I'm going to uh, take this leaf off so we can have a sneak peek of how everything is displayed inside the um, the, the uh, plexiglass or the metacrylate uh, display and then I will proceed with the unboxing well before i continue i just wanted to show you that in the back like um the back side when you take this leaf off uh here's the certificate of authenticity there were six thousand of them made um so it's a it's a really nice collectible um and now i will show you how everything is displayed and here we are oh my goodness you guys i love it so much um i really don't have words like i've been waiting for an amazing cruella doll since forever and she's finally here um i recently made a review of the basic hasbro one uh, that i also got because i like the villains very much um and i have to say that those codes are really cool as well um to be honest they are like in terms of like the face code um, but this one is like how we can picture her as um, as she's appearing in the animation and just wearing her classic gown or a coat and everything. And um, I just wanted to show you what well, the the um, metacrylate um, cabinet is very big. Again, it's it's not double the size, but I would say one third bigger than what we're used to for this kind of like cabinets um which i'm a huge fan of because again you don't need any place uh to already prepare to display your dolls uh but this will actually build up a furniture piece if you stack them uh next to each other and they're perfectly protected they're perfectly displayed and you can see all throughout i mean I really hope that they they will release more um, limited uh, scenes and stuff using this sort of like box because I prefer these um, over the the last ones that we've gotten for the Ultimate Princess Celebration and stuff is cool but um, you need so much more space it's somewhat weird it's still shows like the box this feels like even if you don't take her out of the whole display it feels more that i mean it's completely boxed <laughs> but it feels unboxed in a way and i don't know it feels you, you're experiencing it more um anyway she's gorgeous and we can see uh the living room from um from anita's uh plays and it's just like out of the um, movie there are like two um, levels um, and it really goes very well with the design as it was also in the animation as um, the whole background seems to be like a sketch and that was the that was the method used for for the movie and then here we can find pongo and perdita and six puppies which is amazing i mean we don't have 101 but we have six puppies that i think will represent the whole lot in a way um i don't know they're just super adorable they're really nicely sculpted um and they are like playing around here there is a little cutout of a cushion uh cushion uh over there and um so this is how she is displayed and now what i will do is um i mean i could take the the um, plastic bit um uh, but what i'm going to do um it's uh, i will remove all the plastic elements and stuff so she's completely free and then i will um 
I will give you all the details of this wonderful, um, amazing um, doll. So I'll be back in no time. Whoa, wow. I mean, she's just now uh, free from the package. I am so happy I took her um, out of it because like the detail that we're going to be able to see all around is just like breathtaking. I mean, this... This doll is going to a whole new level of any other villain doll that I've had so far. Um, the only thing is that I've decided that for the dogs and the uh, the puppies, I will keep them as they are because each one has um, individual ties that are keeping them in place that otherwise they will be like moving around all the time i might take them completely off the setting in the future but as for now i'll keep them just like that but i really wanted to experience uh cruella and i think that this profile is probably the best prof um, wow i mean it's just so so wonderful and in fact i discover a few things that we are not able to see straight away out of the display that um made her so much better than i originally thought um so before i continue i just wanted to show you that the way i i um unbox these sort of like uh displays is that i obviously i take everything out uh here is the little back background thing that is just as you can see super amazing as well but it's actually connected to the to the um, bottom part and every time you lift this upwards um it's a bit fragile because it has to go through those little transparent things so what i do is like with a precision cutter i cut it all around so i have this little bit of cardboard that otherwise i mean to take this cardboard i would have to either take all the glue that is connected to the plastic uh bit or unbox it all completely so what i do is like to be able to lift this uh so many more times and it's still um you know fit in perfectly i just cut it around there and as you can see there was like a, a stand in the middle um that is this stand that is rather difficult actually uh to because the stands that they're using right now are a little bit more free with the brackets um but that is part of the whole base and sometimes for the designer fairy tales you have two stands uh sometimes um obviously as they're using male and female they're different sizes uh normally the female doll is has this kind of stand rather than the male one has like the bracket around the waist sometimes for villains such as ursula it, they use like another sort of or try king triton i think another sort of stand um anyway so these are uh, Perdita, Pongo and the six puppies that are just so incredibly amazing I noticed though that I don't know if you saw it before but there was a lot of dust inside of it um I really don't know how it got inside because it's pretty sealed uh but anyway so I cleaned it and now they're just looking perfect um the two um Perdita and Pongo actually move uh, side to side their heads so you can position them or like look into each other looking forward and then they have the color um, it's actually a piece of fabric in blue like a pleather material blue and red and then they have their um identifier medallion and then the puppies uh, have all like painted um, details but they're incredibly adorable and super nicely painted um they appear to be like playing around and they're just super amazing but anyway so now we will move to cruella cruella is like wow uh breathtaking the only thing that i can um and i want to complain about a little bit is that if you um see here um she suppose to have there are a few things missing actually uh she's supposed to be having the signature um 
tile uh, pearly um, earrings and the ring as well as her cigarette holder with the cigarette which is so iconic from the film but I guess that since um, things have changed so much in relation to smoking and everything because the last version that Mattel released back in the 90s I think uh, was actually uh, making her holding a one of those long cigarettes um, which are like very like from the classics Hollywoods um, I don't know and that was so cool but I guess that probably right now they had to take that from her which is very much associated with her but any anyhow so that's missing that's fine but then what about the rings and um sorry the earrings and the ring i don't i don't get why they have not given her um that uh which i think it would have make her a hundred percent perfect i mean it wouldn't be hard to actually customize it and add like three sort of like round little balls that will complete her because she doesn't have a hole for the earrings but I mean they can be glued on and then yeah I mean I know that she's wearing the um the ring uh over the glove and that would have been difficult in a way uh because the glove doesn't have individual fingers other than just the thumb um but i don't know they they could have come up with something but other than that she's perfection i i love her so much i love the face sculpt um i'm going to try to get close so you can see um as i was just moving her around uh before i noticed that um her pearl uh necklace uh, was out of place but right now it's kind of looking perfect with black beads uh, which is just so fitting I love how she's looking to the side uh, she's got the rooted eyelashes um, she has that sort of like very evil look and smile which I love and um, and then her face is so angular I think they've actually done a great job to to act execute uh, a 3d version of Cruella very much so I would say um, so that I like so much then the coat is just crazy oops <laughs> I actually uh, have her on a Barbie uh, stand from the 90s um, her coat is crazy I'm going to show you how big it is from like the back and then i will also show you the um, the back of the hair um i mean these stands are not like the best in terms of like um holding her i mean here is like parted and then i think i will try to condition it in in the way that this can look slightly better but the coat is just amazing. It was all pinned in such way inside of the display uh, that you could not distinguish the individual um, edge, um, like edgy, triangular sort of like, well, um, it doesn't really have a specific shape. It's more like, uh, yeah, it's more like a raw sort of like far cut, uh, which is so true to the actual um animation there is a hint of like i don't know if you can distinguish it but when compared with the blanket that i'm actually using for the backdrop it's uh, and the, the 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 blanket isn't white as such it has like a creamy tone to it but this one has like a pinkish sort of like iridescent touch i don't know if you can see it but i can um i don't know if it's like um the material uh, that lines it from the inside that somehow is reflecting I really don't know or the far actually has those pigments um, anyway it has a trail um, and it's just quite big actually all around uh, as you can see and then it has like this portion that is uh, sewn uh, around the color and then um, it goes to both um okay around the shoulders like a shawl 
um, so I mean it's just so so big and the way to actually display her I'm going to display her with the rest of the um, ultimate princess celebration dolls because she's just looking amazing um, so that is for the coat and then it's totally sorry sorry about this stand <laughs> um, she's totally um, I mean the coat is totally uh, lined uh, oh, there's a little piece of um, like a tie everything was pinned uh, but here you can see the um, the whole thing from the inside and then the dress which is amazing it's like pleather material it's all lined in white and um, and it's two pieces there is a bodice um, that here we can have a close look at it um, I mean, isn't she looking gorgeous? And then there is like this uh, stitched pattern uh, with black rhinestones all around the front. And then there is, um, so that is separated from the skirt part. And then the skirt actually um, is bigger at the bottom. Um, it has like this design of um, stitching and then it, it creates like a round um little bit of a trail as well and it's all like um leather or actually faux leather but um it's just super cool and so much more detailed uh, uh, than i thought it would be i thought it would just be like a satin or yeah maybe like a, i don't know but it's just so much more complex and super cool and then i noticed that uh well cruella was given like this which is amazing because um she has like a white face right so they have given her a white uh body as well which most of the times um and this happens with Elsa, uh, but, and that also happened with my Hasbro version. The head was slightly different color than the body, slightly, uh, slightly um, lighter, for example. Uh, but in this case, they have just given her this sort of like uh, bone, <laughs> uh, white bone color uh, body. And... Um, and what I noticed is that she's got articulation around the knee, which is amazing. And also the ankle. She has like this crazy, uh, I mean, classic uh, looking heels, but that for her um, are so fitting in red, so pointy and stuff. And so she's got, um, I believe she has flat, uh, flat feet, but that can move. Um, right i mean let me let me see for sure yeah yeah as you can see it's flat um but it can be positioned in such way that she can wear um oops really i mean okay uh anyway i will just leave it like this and then uh when i do the review in spanish i will put her shoe back again so this proves that any other um classic or any other flat fit um um doll like for example um well as long as they have this articulation like ariel they can still wear heels like this one which i would assume is like a classic barbie pump sort of like heel um so those are the heels and then she has articulation shoulder elbow wrist uh as well as i think that she has articulation around no she doesn't have around the waist um but she has on the knees uh which is crazy um because i was just assuming that uh she wouldn't have or she would just have like bend and snap but it's it's very cool it's very very cool and then she has like these gloves that go all the way up uh up uh there and then she has like three pieces of jewelry um the um um the gloves obviously only cover the thumb and the rest of the fingers there is this piece of jewelry that i think it's kind of very fitting for the life action cruella 
uh, it makes me think of her. And then on the other side, there's these two bracelets. And then she has her signature um, back or purse. This time is made out of plastic and sculpted. Uh, and it appears to be made out of fire as well and metal. And it's super cool because she can just, um, I mean, it was all in place with rubber bands but um but you can easily have her wear it like that um so um this is Cruella I am super happy I took her out of the display but I of course I'm going to place her back anytime I want I can also have her displayed with the princesses and I'm just basically so thrilled and I hope um, this review has been helpful and it's been fun as well to watch um, and if that is the case um, then I would be so happy if you can give me a thumbs up as well as hitting the subscribe button uh, stay tuned because I will be sharing so many more interesting um, videos in the future in which I will be featuring Disney uh, dolls, Barbie, limited editions, uh, special editions and so much more uh, for now I hope you all stay safe and I'll see you very very soon bye bye